So Mark, what is the excitation voltage in a strain gauge load cell? The voltage is the excitation voltage that powers the load cell, or in other words, powers the strain gauges that are arranged in a Wheatstone bridge. And that excitation can be anywhere from five volts to 15 volts, but we prefer 10. And that voltage then, of course, is multiplied times the millivolt output of the strain gauge network. So if it's 10 volt excitation and you have two millivolts per volt, you would expect to see 20 millivolts at full scale output or full scale deflection, which would be the range of the load cell. Okay, so most of our models, if you look at the standard single points, shear beams, double into shear beams and SLs, what we prefer is a 10 volt regulated excitation. That's correct. And it's important to note, Rob, that it does need to be regulated because if that excitation signal is wavering, the output will waver in millivolts as well. So okay. it's a direct incoming versus outcoming relationship. Great. Thank you.